This video demonstrates how you can easily build or delete both persistent and non-persistent data sets using Hammer, the 61850 client component of the 61850 test suite. Here I have Hammer running and connected to a client, so I can expand this tree. Right click on datasets and choose add dataset. This opens the create dataset dialog which then allows me to choose the elements that I want in this data set. Now there are several options here. For example, I can drill down into the tree and I can pick individual elements of an array. I can expand the array and pick, for example, the C-Vals or go all the way down just to pick F. So a lot of flexibility here. Of course, most data sets will be quite, quite a bit simpler than this, but if you do have arrays, in this in particular example, an array of structures, we can pick certain elements from the structure and certain elements from the array that we want to be in the data set. Once we've created the data set, we can name it. and save the data set. Now when we expand the data sets, we see this new data set being shown. Now we can also create application specific or non-persistent data sets. To do that, we can track the tree, right click in this empty space, and select Add Non-Persistent Data Set. Once again, the Create Dataset dialog opens, and we can choose the elements that we want to include in this data set. Deleting data sets is also quite easy. We simply find the data set we want to delete, right-click it, and delete it. As you can see, Hammer offers a great deal of flexibility. It supports array indexing, and also makes it very easy to build and delete both persistent and non-persistent data sets.